Morning, Ash. M morning, Ooby, Scooby Doops, Snoopy Scoopies. Good morning, everybody. Everybody, 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 everybody. Hey, Robert Cohen, Phil Simpson, all my freehold peeps. Nothing makes me happier than seeing my freehold peeps. Um. <clears throat> Everybody dance now. Mm, 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 mm. Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. If today is your first day, do I really drink coffee? I live on coffee. Coffee and Christmas music all day, every day. Um, uh, so I was with um, the kids in Urban Outfitters the other day and that song came on the radio. Everybody dance now. Uh, 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 uh. Hi, Phil Simpson. Uh, uh, hey, Liz. So anyway, I'm like, I'm like totally breaking it down in Urban Outfitters. Because by the way, Everybody Dance Now was like all the rage in 92 or 3 when I was in high school. So I'm like, I even know the rap. Move, get on the floor, right? Olivia's like, you are so embarrassing. And Charlie's like, why do you know this oldies song? I'm like, excuse me? This is not an oldie song. And then I realized to them it was. It was so funny. Um, so what else is going on? We're trying to figure out Christmas. Honestly, I don't know about you guys, but it's super stressful trying to figure out. You forget what you ordered. There's like boxes in your house. You don't know what's in them. You're trying to figure out who has what. Those of you that are way more organized than me that have like good lists and shit, I love it for you. That's not Michael and I. Um, and I'm going to tell you something. Yeah, I'm going to tell you something. I'll be happy when this freaking elf goes back to the North Pole. Okay? Okay. Uh... So, I got to tell you this. My girlfriend said something to me yesterday. I had one of those aha moments that I love so much. Um, yesterday, we were talking about how I need to get, I need to get centered for 2018 because I have things that I want to accomplish in 2018. And in order to really be effective and successful with the things that I want to do in 2018, I have to center my uh, response to people. I have to be centered. Um, you know, it's the end of the year. I would be very uh, honest with, uh, I have to be honest with you. Um, I am leaning a little bit more toward old Jamie than new Jamie uh, come, you know, around sometime around uh, November. Um, and I don't, I'm not centered. And when you are not centered and you allow people to control your emotions, you cannot fulfill your purpose. That is a fact. That's not opinion. That's not like fan fiction. It is factual. When you, um, are out of whack, when you are emotionally not centered, it is easy for people to trigger you. It is easy for them to bait you. And when you are easily triggered, you lose sight of your purpose, right? You need to stay focused and centered for your purpose. So yesterday I was talking to my girlfriend, Rashonda, God love her, uh, in LA. And I was saying to her, like, I have allowed this woman, there's a woman in the world, I know that's probably hard for you to believe, um, to derail me emotionally, to knock me off my center. By the way, she didn't even really have to try hard. I am in that space right now where I am struggling to find my center. Like, I, I just am. I'm like, I, <clears throat> I am a fighter by nature. My, my uh, survival skills are to fight. So I have to suppress that. And you're probably thinking, well, I don't understand, Jamie. You're 41. You love God. You have kids. Wouldn't it be easy at this point to not fight? No. Nope. And I got plenty of clapbacks for people who say that to me. 
If it was easy for me, I wouldn't do coffee talk. If change was easy for me, I wouldn't do coffee talk. If being centered and always being kind and like always, you know, giving people the best, like, you know, all of those things we talk about, I would never do coffee talk because I would be perfect and really easy to get along with all the time and I'd have no growth chart. But I have a growth chart. Y'all, it's going to take me this lifetime and probably the next two lifetimes to get to where I want to be. Because I am the person who has to go like this in my head. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. I'm going to beat this bitch's ass. Three, one thousand, four, one thousand. Don't do it. Jamie, speak to Jesus. Jesus, take the wheel. Take the car. Take the whole car. Take the lot. That's me. I have to do that. Especially when I've allowed somebody, when I've allowed, that is the truth. It is my fault. When I've allowed somebody to wear on me, um, and I'm not centered, whoo, <laughs> I'm like that game topple. <laughs> Too much, <clears throat> topples right over. Try to fight like this bit, you know, right away. This bit. Okay, so in my journey with you guys, I try to stay centered. <clears throat> <clears throat> try, okay? Um, Anyway, what did she, what did Rashonda say to me that literally, hi cousin Tracy, that literally stopped me in my tracks yesterday. We were talking about, and I said to her, I need to find a way to get centered. I need to get emotionally, truly centered so that when I go into 18, I can make the impact that I want to make and I can create the opportunities that I want to create and I can fulfill these things. And she said to me, you have no choice because your purpose requires it. Uh, Rashonda with the aha moment. I'm sorry. Say it again. Uh, uh, for the people in the back. Your purpose requires it. Holy smokes. Yes. My purpose in my life. And I am incredibly grateful that I know my purpose. Requires that I get centered, requires that I put the work in, requires that I don't come across the table and beat somebody's ass. My purpose requires that I stay on my growth chart. And nothing is more important to me than fulfilling my purpose because my purpose impacts your purpose. My purpose impacts the type of children I put into the world, the type of woman I wanna be, the message that I share. I feel when you guys approach me, like yesterday when I was answering the phone at Barnes and Noble, which I wasn't supposed to be doing, but I did it anyway. Okay. And I answered the phone and the people calling to order my book cried on the phone and said, you have no idea what a difference you have made in my life, Jamie. And I said, I do because you have made the same difference in my life. I can do that wholeheartedly with a clear conscience because I am working towards my purpose and I get it. What does your purpose require? Who and what do you want to be in 2000, 2018? What impact do you want to make? And listen, don't take my journey. I see a lot of people, a lot of people who see my journey and think, I can do that. I want to do that. And, and they try to mimic me or copy me. Don't take my journey because you think it brings some acknowledgement or fame or whatever. I cannot tell you the commitment it takes to be your most authentic self every single day for people. On a holiday, when your marriage is failing, when your dog drops dead of a heart attack, you have no idea what it takes to sit in this seat every single day without fail, whether you're on a plane, whether you're sick as a dog, whether your kid was up all night, this is my purpose. Find your own. Let's figure out what your purpose is and figure out what is required of you to fulfill that purpose. Because we need you. I need you. I need to know what it is that you want to achieve so that I can help you and we as a community can help you. But your purpose will require change. 
It will require change. Do you know how many times I have wanted to beat somebody's ass? And I didn't do it because of you. Because of you. Because I am in this journey with you. And my purpose is bigger than just me. And I can't be out there beating people up and then coming to sit here and be like, well, y'all, we need to try harder. By the way, I beat this chick's ass yesterday. That does not work. It just does not work. And a lot of you want to know what your purpose is. You want to say, Jamie, how do I find my purpose? You got to listen. You got to listen to what moves you. What are the things that you love to do that never feel like work? If you are a banker, don't tell me you love numbers. That's your job. I mean, we all love our jobs in some way, but but my purpose and my job are not the same things. I love my job. I get to produce movies and I get to work in, you know, it's also, I get a lot of rejection. I have a lot of people tell me I'm not good enough. I have to watch men and I'm not a man hater. I love love a man (laughs) love but I have to watch men do the same amount of work as me and make twice as much money as me I mean this is part of my industry you you see what's happening in my industry it's falling apart men are dropping like flies they cannot stop jerking off on women it's the most disgusting shit I have ever seen in my life so I don't I, I don't work in an easy industry but I love what I do but it is not my purpose my purpose is coffee talk Joyelle, you better start cooking because we need, especially as somebody who is out in the world looking for talent and personalities to create content around, we don't have enough women of color who are in the kitchen. We've got more white women who know how to bake than I could, I could create 75,000 baking shows for you guys. I don't have any big personalities, fun women who really know how to cook and love to cook of women of color. There it is. That could be your purpose. I don't know. I'm just saying. Coffee talk is my purpose. It is not my job. I figured out my purpose when I started to realize that I cared more about you guys than I did about myself. When showing up for you meant more than like ducking out, running away. Hi, Jessica Small. So, yes, Jennifer Herrick, teaching. There are certain professions that are also, I believe, purpose and calling. Teaching is one. Nursing is another. Uh, grief counselors, people like that. I'm talking about my job is not my purpose. You know, I don't, I love what I do, but it's not my purpose. And here's how I know. Because if I was given an opportunity to get funding where I could live just doing one or the other, I would choose coffee talk in a heartbeat. If someone said, Jamie, I'll give you an amount of money to just do coffee talk every day and you don't have to work and you can just create content for women and pour into women and go on tour and meet people and hug them and love them back to life. I would do that in a heartbeat and never make another movie. That's how I know it is my purpose. So I say to you, your purpose will require uncomfortable change. It just will. What does your purpose require of you in 2018? What changes do you need to make to get closer to your purpose? Um, And Michael, I love what you just said. Thank you so much. And, And I can't answer that for you, but I can help support you once you figured it out. So my word of 2018 is... Oh, Stephanie, Davy, you don't want to get married before 36 anyway, girl. Trust me. Trust me. Um, now I forgot what I was just going to say. But I just, um, I just, it really was an aha moment for me. Like, yeah, Jamie, 
it isn't easy. It isn't easy for you to be different. It isn't easy for you to find new coping skills. It isn't easy for you to not just fight. Like, no, it isn't easy, but get, but, but working towards your purpose is never easy. And that's my cross to bear. Like, by the way, if you are a woman right now watching this going, I don't understand. I've never wanted to fight in my life. Why does this woman always want to fight? I cannot tell you how envious. Thank you, Andrew Hurst. Yes. Um, how envious I am that your life was not filled with so much anger and disappointment and sadness that you did not resort to physical violence. I, and I'm not being facetious. I am being the most vulnerably gen genuine I can be. I am so jealous and envious that you have never wanted to hurt somebody the way I feel like I want to hurt people. It is the grossest feeling to feel like the only way you can sort something out is to fight. I should have been born in the 1600s when they had like duels and jousts and shit. Because that's me. Oh, you want to fight? Like, what, what the hell am I? A samurai? My word for 2018 is impact. What impact will I have? on the people around me, on, on my own life, on the world, how will I use my purpose? What impact will I make? And I am working as hard as I can behind the scenes to try to make things happen. It is hard. It is, it is not as easy as one would think to create something that people want to invest in and believe in if you're not twerking on Instagram. I'm I'm really like two weeks away from showing my boobs on Instagram, guys. Real talk. Because I feel like if I do, I could get the money I need to go on tour and then you guys could hug me and you will have seen my boobs, which would be a little weird. But I mean, I feel like if you've seen one booby, you've seen them all, right? No? No? Um... So anyway, that is my word for 2018, impact. That is what I am working towards. And you have to figure out what is your purpose and what does your purpose require? I want to know from you guys, and you should know too, and we can help each other figure it out. Um, you remind me of a love. Uh, please share this video. There's a share button right there. Share the video and write, what does your purpose require? Question mark. And get other people in your life thinking. Um, really, um, get other, get people in your life thinking about their purpose and what their purpose requires. Share this video with them. Don't be afraid to share it. I, I, I and those of you that do share, I come on your page and I like it and I see it. Um, this is a Gap pajama top. I know you guys always love my pajamas. I don't know why, because they're just like pretty basic, but Gap pajamas. Um, thank you for no boobs. Phil Simpson, my friend from high school, is like, nope, don't share, don't show your boobs. Now, I'll tell you about freehold people, boy. They stick together. They be looking out for each other. Real talk. They really do. Um... All right, so share this video, click share, and say, what does your purpose require? Okay, well, Nikki, you don't have to. Some people share. Thank you, Joyelle. But I understand not wanting to give it away to everybody. Believe me, I do understand that. Um, thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Denise. I love you guys so much today. Thank you, Lisa. Have a great, I feel like it's Magic Garden and the Chuckle Patch. Um... Remember that show? I see this one. I see that one. I got a onesie, girl. Don't worry. Um, I love you guys so much today. Have a great, great day.